Welcome to a new update. We had some stronger seismic activity yesterday and this morning. Yesterday 5.9 in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, just below Western Turkey. When I saw that seismic activity, the first thing that crossed my mind was Kermadec, because that would be typical antipode activity. And yes, this morning a 6-pointer, borderline 6, at the Kermadec Islands. This seismic activity comes at the lunar peak that I discussed in previous updates. This lunar peak on the 26th, we also see a magnitude 5.7 aftershock in the Molokka Sea, but this is a typical clustering that comes with or after a lunar peak. We also had a planetary peak, that's the red peak that you see here, that just preceded the lunar peak. And as you may recall, we had the Mercury-Sun-Jupiter conjunction, and interestingly, what makes it interesting, this lunar peak is partly due to a lunar conjunction with Jupiter, as you can see here. I didn't mark that conjunction, but you can see the moon is pointing towards Jupiter. <clears throat> this could become a bit more critical, I don't think all that much, in the next two days or so, that will be uh, tomorrow, 27th, 28th, possibly. The typical seismic activity or the seismic increase that we have following lunar conjunctions like these are into the six magnitude range. This could be borderline six like we had today. And it could be a follow up, it could be mid six, in the worst case scenario, higher six. <clears throat> we still have the critical planetary geometry in mind from the 19th to the 22nd. There is still a slight possibility that that is going to trigger larger seismic activity towards magnitude 7 or over magnitude 7 tomorrow or the next day. I think this is going to be less likely because we are pretty much past the lunar peak. There is a slight possibility, but I think it's less likely. <clears throat> so my estimate is that we may see additional stronger seismic activity uh, in the next two days following the planetary and lunar geometry on the 26th, to, uh, sorry, 25, 26th. And this could be low 6 or mid 6 magnitude most likely, maybe a bit larger, tomorrow or the day after. If we look at the atmospheric fluctuations that we had in recent days, there are two fluctuations on the 21st and 22nd of January that would actually match the 27th and 28th. And they went over the East Pacific, marking California, Southern California, the West Coast of North America, possibly, and maybe a bit more to the South, Gulf California, still. So the first fluctuations that we picked up were from, I think, the 13th and then the 15th and the 16th. So far, we only had a 4.2 in the California Channel. But these fluctuations could indicate additional stronger seismic activity, maybe moderate seismic activity. It is also possible, if you follow the fluctuations to the south, that the seismic activity will occur uh, on the southern East Pacific rise or even further down the Pacific Antarctic Ridge and that would be borderline 6 most likely. The seismic activity that we had this morning, the 6-pointed camera deck, matches the atmospheric fluctuations that we had on the 20th. You may recall from the previous update that we had some fluctuations over the West Pacific over several hours, so I couldn't really draw a single purple band, but one, the most eastern part, really goes along the camera deck trench. I don't, I'm not sure if that is or remains meaningful in the next few days. There are some obvious fluctuations and they can become significant in the end of the month. The fluctuations are over Asia again on the 24th, 25th, marking the part from Lake Baikal in the north into the, down into the Indian Ocean. And that would could possibly become interesting around the 30th or the 31st, following some critical planetary geometry there. I'm not sure about that yet. <clears throat> so let's see what's going to happen tomorrow and the day after. Uh, we concentrate on the fluctuations that we had on the 21st, 22nd, because if we count six days, that would be the 27th, 28th. So let's see what's going to happen in the next few days. Again, I don't expect it to be really much. Uh, the typical low six may be a bit larger. <clears throat> On average, they occur every 2.7 days, every three days. 
In reality, we see clusters, we see clustering of stronger seismic activity. We could see some additional larger seismic activity following the strong seismic activity that we already had yesterday and this morning. But it is not at all certain. So this is what we have so far. Also the critical planetary and lunar geometry, the convergence on the 26th. We could see some seismic increase as a result in the next two days. Be safe, until next time.